Bob Walters and Brett Grasso. It's Locked Up Sports, and it starts now. Bring them out, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. Hey! Bring them out, bring them out. Yeah. Bring them out, bring them out. Hey! Bring them out. Here we go! Bob Walters, Brett Grasso, from the Brian Gunzel Studios, this is Locked Up Sports. The streaking Senators ruin Kane's Garden debut. The Knicks continue to climb up the Eastern Conference standings as they go for eight in a row in Miami. It's championship week as the Big East invades the world's most famous arena. And Daniel Jones wants $45 million a year. Brett, welcome to the show. What's going on, Bob? Forty-five million is ridiculous. Forty-five so, is outrageous. It, it is, and and he, you know, he may get it. We're going to get to all that uh, stuff the Knicks, later. The but. Knicks, the Knicks, ladies and gentlemen, we finally have a decent basketball team, a decent NBA basketball team, because the Nets obviously were disaster. The Knicks have won seven in a row. They are currently up about, I think they're up twelve, heading into halftime of the of against the a big game against the Heat tonight. Yeah, going for eight in a row. The the Josh Hart trade has been has, has just worked out perfectly. Playing with his Villanova classmate Jalen Brunson, who is the player of the Eastern Conference Player of the Month. It's just I, I mean, you, they, he's the real deal, and he's proven it right now. It's twenty years Knicks, in the making. The Knicks are just gelling. This team is just coming together, and everybody's like finding their roles. Like there's a point where it was like you look at the Knicks teams that made the playoffs, like with Julius Randle, and it was all about him forcing him the ball, and when he had a good game, they had a chance. This is a team that has, like, so many just good good players that have just come together. This is the best, I think this is, this is the best Knicks team probably since the Carmelo teams. Yeah. Right? I mean, it's probably, is it better than, yeah. and I, I'd say it's better than the Porzingis one, that the one... They won like uh, fifty something, go sixty games, something no, like that. No, because this team can actually compete versus those other teams that are elite right now. Like it doesn't mean they're going to be able to beat them in a seven game series versus the Bucks right now, and who knows what's going on. But they actually have what it takes right now to win in a series. Well, versus those yes. other teams, I didn't see that. Well, listen, they, listen, they're not embarrassment anymore. Okay, they were, they went from embarrassment, yeah, to to a, a decent team. Now they're a good NBA team. Now. Can they beat? Are they going to beat the Celtics or the Sixers or the Bucks? No, they're not going to beat them in the playoff series. But here's what you want to do. Now, if you get five or six, if you get the fifth or sixth seed, it's really not that big of a difference, except for the home the home court advantage, right? But what the, well, what it is is if you get the five or the sixth seed, you stay away from one, two, and three teams that you really can't beat in a, in a seven game in a in a playoff series, right? Yeah. So it gives you a chance to win a playoff series. This team hasn't won a playoff series in God knows well, what how long. It, but it flip flops. So what it works is that the Knicks hop over the Cavs. That means you have Game Seven at the Garden. Yes. Instead of yes. Game Seven in Cleveland. That's what that's the difference. Is it the no, end? no? No, it's the difference of the Knicks win the first round. No, no, because the Knicks it, haven't played no. well at home. What's their home record, Brett? We pull up the next. It's one. right oh, there. I got it. Uh, nineteen and fifteen. Nineteen and fifteen. Yeah. So they are twenty six and sixteen on the road. And they've just recently gone over five hundred at home. They're, they're right. bad. It's an anomaly too, because in the NBA that really but doesn't. No matter happen. what. I mean, listen. What you you want to argue with me that you don't want Game Seven at the Garden? No, no, no. Is, that, is, that, is this your argument? That no, I want gonna, Game no, Seven. I know that. Of course, Seven at the Garden. But I'm saying four or five is not really a big deal. Five six is a big deal because if you land in that six spot now you're going to play the Sixers. I know I know what you mean but the 4-5 is uh, right now it looks like it's going to be who's playing game 7 and where Knicks Cavs. That's what you're that's the that's if you're talking just Knicks right now. It's about the Knicks or the Cavs going to battle it out for who's playing and having home court advantage in that first round and whoever does is probably winning the series. And listen, uh, you may you can argue with what they're playing for. It's going to be a different thing than a January game at the Garden on a Tuesday night versus the Cavs. You're going to be talking about Game Seven at the Garden. It's yeah. going to be. The that, you want to talk about home that, court yeah, advantage? But, but here we go, jumping, uh, jumping the gun. Knicks fans, no, listen, are. Knicks fans, jump the gun. It's, okay, they, is, they, we've been waiting to have this conversation for a long time. Smoking on that Boston this pack is last the, year or two years ago, and then when they played the Hawks and they got beat. Pretty handily yeah. by Trey Young, and then you know, listen. Don't jump the gun here. Get into the no, playoffs. Is it going to go seven? They can very easily lose and be like the reason they lost is the, is because they didn't get what's his face. Well, and no, but that's, that's exactly why. You but know, that's the pro, that's the difference of having it home at the Garden and losing to a guy or 
you know, that you should have been playing for you in that game. Now, Julius Randle's play. Now, here's the thing that I, I like about the Knicks recently. Besides, you know, they're winning games left and right. They're beating Celtics and stuff like that. The Celtics are, are another class than the Knicks. The Knicks are not in the same class. The The way I said it last week, Brett, on the on on one of the shows was the Celtics are in first class. The Celtics and the Bucks are in first class. Yeah. The Sixers are in coach, but they got the extra leg room, right? Okay. And then and then it's the Knicks and it's the 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 Knicks and the, and the else. Cleveland. It's everybody else, yeah. Now they've blown past the Nets. Okay, the Nets are now fading. Mm-hmm. They're gonna fade. They're probably gonna fade out of the you know into the the play in tournament or whatever. What I like about the Knicks lately, besides obviously Josh Hart and Brunson, and it's Brunson's team now, is Randall. I feel like is is coming up, and he doesn't like the fact that it's Brunson's team. Randall's got 24, 25 points right now here in this first half yeah. in Miami in a big game. Randall played big. He played very well against Boston, and he seems to be stepping up now. They're, they're kind of elevating each other, and they I think go, it's working. They can go on any night, and you know they're all going to take their shots early and see if they're on. You know That's how it goes, but they have so many guys that could be on on any given night, and if Randall goes off early, feed Randall the ball. And if that's where you need to go with it, and same thing, if Brunson's having a night, you can go towards Brunson. I mean, you have so many. You can go towards R.J. Barrett. No, yeah, R.J. Barrett. Is, I mean, I know he's on the. I know he's on the. Like he's RJ on the Barrett. fringes right now, and they're trying to figure out where you know. What, I like R.J. Barrett. He's yeah. been a little disappointing. I listen. It's a Villanova connection now at the Garden, and there's a ton of Villanova alum in the city. It, just go to a, a, a go to the Big East tournament this week. It is all Villanova. And we'll get, we'll get into that in a minute. Villanova has, has a chance to run the table there, too. But it's all Villanova. There's a ton of Villanova alum in the city. So you got these two guys from Villanova playing well. You got the – Brunson is just – he came out – to me, he came out of nowhere. I didn't see this out of him in Villanova. Some people did. Some people claim they did. I don't know if they said it. I didn't see this good of an NBA player in Villanova for Jalen Brunson. But he – look, he's a star. And now the Knicks, what the Knicks are is they're one player away. They're one player away. Oh, from being really from being from a contender, that, from becoming no, wait, wait, from becoming tier one. I for yeah, from being from becoming. Like, no, what? Who? I know, but it depends on the player. They're no, one that, player away from yes, the, moving the, into. The, you're talking about rounds of playoffs. Yeah, you know what I mean. When you're adding players, and depending on who the player is, it's right now. It's we're at. Round one possible. You want to win a round. Win. Okay, you want to win a round this year. This year you want the to win a round. The next level is Eastern Conference Finals. And, and who's the guy to get you there? But who's, he, the guy, who's the next piece to get you over to? But here's that? the thing with the Knicks. Okay, they to, you got to win a, round, a playoff round for this to be a successful season. Okay, you can't go into the playoffs yes. and lose again. Lose in yes. six, five or six to Cleveland. Because then it's just another, it's another bad season. Because now we have expectations. Okay, the Garden was rocking against Boston. That was a big game. That was the first big basketball game at the Garden in a long time. And the Garden is the mecca of basketball. So the Knicks got to win a playoff series this year. Now, they can make it to the Eastern Conference Finals. It's not out of the realm of possibilities. It would be fantastic if we get the Rangers making a run, the Knicks making a run. But if you win the first round, you play with house money after that. So now you got house money. You just got to get past that first round. And by the way they're playing now, positioning themselves in the four or five seed is really helping them do that because you're not going to beat Philadelphia. They have, they have some big tests coming up. I mean, we talked about the Celtics. Um, I mean, they're going down to Charlotte. But after that, you got to go play Sacramento. You got to play the Clippers. And then you got, I mean, the Lakers, who without LeBron and who knows, AD's probably got nothing going on. But uh, you know, we're gonna you're gonna see in the next week if the Knicks are you know gonna go leapfrog the Cavaliers and if they're gonna be making moves or if they're gonna you know this West Coast trip. I mean, yeah. The, listen, the Bucks and the Celtics. You're not close to the Bucks and the Celtics. Okay, the Bucks have won like no, 15 it's just put, in a row. It's about putting yourself in position at this point. The, the Buck, you know what? Give us a run. Give us something. To, give us. Yeah. Give New York something. The Knicks. They give them New York nothing for 20 years since Carmelo was on the team. Really, and he was even this. Those were disappointing Knicks team. It's really since Ewing's teams There's that so they haven't guys, made it's, runs. It's almost comical they haven't gotten that guy. Do you know how many guys all they want in their life is to come to New York and play in New York? And I mean no, it. They don't. Dame, they don't. No, Dame, Dame Lillard. All the only thing you want to do is be here. Then why isn't he here? What? It, what do you mean? Why isn't he here? You, you have to offer the money. 
You have to offer big money, and he's. And I understand no, what you're saying. No, 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 but if you're saying if, you, if all you want to do is come to the Knicks, I'm going to take five million less, right? No, because it's about the money. They went. They were going to wherever the money was. And Damian well, Lillard, listen, he got guess, 71 points the other night. I guess, but there's guys who you know. Damian, the Knicks have never been good while Damian Lillard was alive. He's never seen the guard. He wasn't around for the the Ewing Knicks. That's really the last time they I, were good. I, listen, I'm not making this up. This is Dame Lillard wants to be a Nick. The guy I wants think, to come play here. He's, he's playing in the, Portland. He's one. Of, he is like the best player that nobody knows about in the world. No, no, no. He, he is, scored 71 points last week. Nobody knows. <laughs> yes, they do. Yes, nobody they has do. any clue. He won a title with Toronto. You know what happened if Jordan ago. in Chicago, or if a Nick in the Garden scored 71? Do you know what that would that would have been? An abs. That would have been a moment of all moments that we would never have forgotten in the history of the Garden. Nah. And now, you know what happened in Portland. So you know what? It's just a 71 piece. It yes. also happens. You tell me night. if that happens in the garden. That isn't just an absolute, just one of the biggest moments that you've seen. You mean, is it around the 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 inner uh, walking when you walk in the, to to get the uh, the things on the walls? Is it there next to Richter's helmet? And is it there next to the double nickel? No, it's no, not because no, it's a Tuesday. It's a it's no. a Sunday night. But it's a totally different it's thing than that happened in February. I, I understand, but you're talking about two different places. He can go play in Portland. That's garbage. Like there's really nothing. Like he, it's it's a waste to me. Like to me, it's like that's no. These NBA stars, I think that they, they, it doesn't matter where they go. And now, it, 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 25 years ago, yeah, you want to come to New York? You want to get? You're gonna make more money with advertising and stuff. LeBron, look at LeBron. LeBron was in Cleveland, making all kinds of money. Um. They yeah, gotta find. At, they gotta find their star. Who they, they gotta find that guy. Yeah, they gotta find them. Listen, they gotta find them. And where's he gonna come from? I don't know. But let's worry about that. Ed. But let's have a, enjoy the season. They've won seven in a row. They're in the fifth speed. They're in the fifth spot right now. They're playing well. They're they're moving up the ladder in the Eastern Conference. They got the Eastern Conference Player of the Month on the team. They got uh, two Villanova guys killing it. They got Julius Randle playing well. The coach is, is finally. Doing something here. Yeah, let's in, just enjoy it. He's in, run, he's in the running for a coach of the year. At this You're point. jumping up into a, let's get where, where are we going to get the championship. It's not a championship team yet. Okay. It's a let's have fun. It's like the Rangers last year. The Rangers, that was a fun ride. They weren't a Stanley Cup team. They weren't a Stanley Cup, the championship type of caliber team. But they were they were fun to watch and they were, they made it to the Eastern Conference Finals. The Knicks are up now, seventy-one fifty-six on the Heat, and this is a, the Heat got run out of the building the other night by the Sixers. So then now this is back-to-back bad games by the Heat. The Knicks kicked down, you know, pad their lead on because the Nets are fading. The Heat now they they'll have a four or five game lead. Listen, just enjoy it. You're worried about you're trying to get this team a championship. They ain't gonna win the championship. No, this no, year. no. You're the one who started with wh- who. Where are we gonna find the guy? And who's the next guy to get to the next round? I no, didn't I start it with that. that. No, 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 no. You I start. said that one guy no, away. That's not where I started with that. I just said who the guy's gonna be. Uh, yeah, I, I ain't the one worried about it. This is no, no, no. no. <laughs> the last thing I was worried about the the Knicks and uh, and when they're gonna who they're gonna have to go get to a championship. No, no. You were worried about whether Julius Randle was gonna hit a three for the first bucket of the game. Oh, uh, he had it. <laughs> Rob was like, Rob, Rob, and you were like, you came in. I was like, oh, listen, uh, you, you come in, you're like, he doesn't. Even, why would he shoot a three? He, yeah, he took the shot. He literally comes up and he and he uh, he ducks one off the rim. Yeah, yeah. So now the other tenant at the guard and the Rangers made. Big splash at the deadline. I didn't think it was going to happen. I don't think they were going to work it out with the the cap. They got Patrick Kane. He is a Ranger. And what happened last night? The Senators came in and they his first game, Garden debut. Patrick Kane, one of the greatest American one players ever, future Hall of Famer. Yeah. And the and the Rangers, the goaltending failed them again. And it wasn't even just circuit this time. Okay, it was a lock. Well, and what he, about Kane? Kane, Kane, I'm no, Kane, though, they, right? they just weren't no, but they they it's his first game there. They they didn't really have you know any kind of practice or gel no. together. And I, didn't they throw him out there on the first power play? No, but they lost five to two. Okay, they lost five to two. He's good enough where you can you can gel. You right. can make it work on a power play. But is it going to take a few? To, yeah, but it's going to take a couple days. Take, yeah. Now, but they lost five to two to a, a, a Senators team that's that's fighting for a playoff spot. They've been playing well lately. You can't lose that game, and it should have been six to two because it, there was a goal disallowed with an offside, whatnot. You, the goaltending's got to be better. Listen, they can get Kane, Tarasenko, all these guys can play great. Fox, everybody, they're only going to go as far as, as the goaltending takes them, and it's going to be Igor Shosturkin. 
And you know what? This is the opposite of last year's team. Last year's team was they weren't as good offensively, and they kind of hung Shostak out to drive and he to dry, and he put them on his back and he carried them to the Eastern Conference Finals. This year, he's not as good. It, it's not, not saying he's bad. He's not as good, and you, it's hard to be yeah, as good. Well, you can't and be the, as good. But the team is better. The team is a championship caliber team now, and now these guys have been there. They've been to a playoff run in New York. They are now have more talent. Okay, they're a year older. You, Kreider's only got a, you know how many years does Kreider have left? And you got you got Fox. You got a great power play. You got Lafreniere. Finally, these guys are playing well, and the goaltending is failing the, the team. And it, it's How's frustrating they been playing to watch. The last week, they haven't been playing that well, have they? They would. They want to. They want. Listen, they've been. They've been shorthanded Where they because been of the trade deadline. They no, would, I understand, but they're, they're, aren't they? You got some injuries. They, they would. They, you're, they, you're trading. The, you know, they had a lazy win in Philadelphia. Philadelphia is a bad yeah. team. Okay, me, you, and the the next five guys can probably win three out of four against Philadelphia against the Flyers. They went into the Flyers. They had to get a late goal to tie it. They won it in overtime. Okay, it's a win. You get your two points. You get out of there. You take it. But it was a lazy win. It wasn't a good win. Then they get Kane's debut. Big night at the Garden. Kane's first game. Sellout crowd. Wild. Their tickets going for high high prices. And they came out and they, they laid an egg. They were flat last okay. night. And they lost to an Ottawa, an Ottawa team that's battling for a playoff spot. And the Rangers now... Carolina keeps winning. The Devils yeah. keep winning. Well, now you got to go and play the Bruins, who have only lost eight times yeah. this year. Well, I also said, I also said because if if the Celtics are in first class with the Bucks, yeah. the Bruins are flying the plane. Oh yeah, because they have a, they have a, like nine losses or ten losses, eight, eight losses, eight, eight losses. It's like the Bulls. It's like the Bulls. Them team. and the Celtics combined, twenty six, twenty six losses. Yeah, yeah. All see, and 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 close to well, over a hundred games. Well yeah. over a hundred games. Twenty six losses. They like the they like the, the the Bulls teams, the seventy win Bulls teams. I mean, it's but it's that that only amounts to you getting in the first seed. Now the, and you still got to go win the hockey games yeah, when it gets and listen, there. And, and playoff and hockey's just you can very, run into a hot goalie. Yeah, definitely. that's what you can. You can run into a hot goalie. You see that goalie goal? I did see the for the Bruins. I did see the I goalie know. goal. The goalie goals are cool. You it, like the goalie goals? I like the goalie goal, and especially since out of nowhere, you know who's never on Facebook? You never see him. Nothing ever happens. Mark Massaro, right? Nothing. Oh, I did see Mark Massaro. And Mark Massaro posted the Gunzel's wall. Oh, oh, okay. That's what it was, too, is the Gunzel. Okay, I did see Mark. And it was the Gunzel of the the goalie goal. Mark Massaro, by the way, one of the better goaltenders of all time. Right. Best goaltender in Sable history. Twin court is... Thing is, hanging. Sunlight drive, twin court. Yeah, listen, hanging. Mark Rosaro, we we salute you, Mark Rosaro. And you're right, because he's never on Facebook. Good, if good. You want a good bagel? Stop by the hot bagels <laughs> and save them. Say hi good to Mark. Work. So the Rangers now, listen, they were playing shorthanded because of the trade deadline. They were sitting people out. They got um, Tyler Mott got injured. Okay, the Rangers asked Bettman to to have an emergency call up to, so they could fill the roster because they were playing with two guys short the last couple of games. Batman said no. So Batman, you know, pushed the screw the Rangers button. No. Yep. Like they're going to go shorthanded into Boston and win, and win a game against Boston. That's not going to happen unless Shesterkin plays well. You got to be playing Shesterkin too. I didn't like, I didn't like that Halak played last night. I wanted Shesterkin in there. Let him get, let him work through this. Let him work through this. We've seen him be the best goalie in the world. Let him work through it. Let him get his confidence back because you got the playoffs coming up. It's really not, the Rangers are, are they're pretty much set in where they're going to be, barring a, a total yeah, collapse. You just want to get your team together and get everybody healthy. You got to get, get him on, in a little bit of a streak. Yeah, listen, you, Halak, you want him playing well. Yeah, that's the key. Halak is not going to listen. Be, you know, the players are going to be who they are. You're not going to get them to you know. But uh, the goalie's got to get onto a, a, a few games in a row of shutting some people down. Yeah, Can't be letting up like you said four goals in a period. No, he, and he over, did that multiple over. times. And he won games, but yeah, the whole the whole team has been late. Like that that. Philadelphia game, listen, that game is, that should be an easy win. Philadelphia is long since kind of, they, they got one foot in the offseason already. And to go in there and have to get a late goal to tie it and win it in overtime, listen, you got the two points. Like I said, you take the two points, it's not a big deal. But, it, you know, you got to play better. And then to come out on Kane's, Kane's first game, big night at the Garden. It's one of those nights at the Garden that, that, that they have, you know, they have, that only the Garden has, and to come out and lose like that, five to two, it, it was disappointing. I, and I was disappointed with Halak and the goaltending. And we'll see. 
They're a good team. They're a team that can win a Stanley Cup, but they're only going to go as far as Igor Shesterkin takes them because they got the offense this year. They certainly have the offense, and they just added to it with Kane, one of the all-time American-born players. You know, he's right up there with Brian Leach and, and Chris Chelios and Ray and no Ray Bork's uh, Canadian. He's right up there with, with Chelios and Leach. Leach is probably the best American-born player, but um, so that, that that's that's it for the Rangers. Um, what, what what do we got next? But we got the spring training report, right? Spring training. Ah, uh, little Mets. Uh... We got the pitch clock. Now I did a whole thing on the pitch oh, clock. I like that, yeah. What what are your thoughts on the pitch clock of so far? So far, or what do, what do I think in? Ge- give or, me, you know give what? Me, give, me, give me pitch clock. Give me two minutes on the pitch clock, Brett. All right. Well, you know what? I, I like the speeding up of the game. I, I, I'm not for just sitting around three and a half, four hour games every single night trying to watch, uh, you know, a nine inning baseball game. Uh, watching watching it today though with Scherzer playing games with the pitch clock and uh, making batters sit for the full eight seconds before he's about to pitch, and then the batters stepping out. Then the moment they're about to step in the box, Scherzer's throwing it down the and, and just. I think it's going to be interesting to see. He also got a violation, though. He he, he got the guy to ground into a double play, yes. and they waved it off because it was a pitch clock violation. Oh, he had a pitch clock violation on that one. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. trying. He's trying to figure it out. He's using spring training as you know as an instrument to see. You know, can he use this to his advantage? Is it you know? Again, I MLB doesn't see those other parts to the rules. I I am all for two-hour and 20-minute games. I am all for yes. moving these games along. I don't like this pacing around. The batter can come out. The pitcher can come out. And they both do it. Once one guy does it, the other guy wants to do it, too, to piss the other guy off. And you're sitting around, and it's going to just be, uh, you know, every 30 seconds you're getting a pitch coming. You're getting a pitch coming. But here's the thing. like that, What you describe is tedious in spring training. It's tedious in July. It's tedious in August. But in October... It's what makes October great. I, I, it's it what is, makes baseball it, great. And I have a and I'm a little worried about important moments at the end of games. I'm worried about something that they notice at a spot where you want to step out. And I understand you get your one opportunity to step out. Playoff games. There is just a different intensity, and I don't like. I could see increasing that clock for playoffs, or you know, or in then you're playing different rules. The though, ninth, you're playing a different game. Yeah. You are you're playing a different game. Everybody's playing with the same rules. You're talking about five extra seconds, and you know I, I don't know. I, I I just I think there's going to be play snakes. it out. Let's play it out. And see how it goes. No, I'm point. all for it. I, like I said, I'm all for it being shortened. I I like the new rules. I like seeing advancements in the game. If it doesn't work, they'll change it. Yeah, yeah. Listen, That's, listen. It like, you can't stay the same. Okay, people are worried about it's not working. Then they're talking about injuries. What do you pitcher injuries? Is you think that happens? Pitchers be, get hurt all the time anyway. The, the, you are you are now forced to throw a pitch every twenty seconds. Oh, give me a you break! Had, you had, give me you a break! Could, no, I don't know that. I'm I'm just saying this is what you're going to hear about complaints or about other issues that come with it. In my opinion, batters have always dealt with this in the past. All those same Ted Williams, all the fame, every famous batter. Played two hour games, two hour and twenty minutes. Yeah, but games. there was also no commercials. I, I so it, what, was it really was, that much shorter of a game? There were no commercials, or there was like one commercial, right? I now don't know. That money. I uh, yeah, I don't know. I I'm not sure how much time between innings and all that stuff was taken, and all the other stuff with pitch clocks. But how uh, many Brett? How many pitches does a re- does a does a pitcher get in between innings? How many pitches? How many does, pitches? One oh. pitches does a pitcher get in between innings, or when he comes into a game? Is it fourteen? It's eight. Is it eight? Yep. Uh, you know what? You know how I know that was a uh, oh, Mister Wade. Like that was a Mister Wade chair question. For, for, for do you remember Mister Wade's chair question? I, I was I was in the history club with Mister Wade. <laughs> was, what was that after the geography B? Yes, it was. I was recruited. <laughs> so now I was recruited in <laughs> fifth grade. So now the thing I'll tell you what also for baseball by Mister Wade. Yeah, you, you know Mister. I'm not. I'm not No means Wade. go. I'm not trashing no, Mister Wade's baseball. No means go. <laughs> you know what that would mean? You know what that means? Was that the steal sign? Yeah. So you'd be going to first, and if he said no to you, he'd be like, no, no. You just keep going and run the second. I feel like it should have been a little more complicated. And I remember, I, I know, I know. Now, the thing I like about that, I like now this week, what with it, after like getting over, it, I get anxious with it, okay? It makes me anxious. The cl- big clock. Yeah, I haven't watched that down, much of it yet. It's ticking down. Yeah. I'm like, oh my God, get it off, get it off. They're- 
Now, I like now that it's starting to in, implement strategy into it. Okay, you got the runners now. Uh, runners on first. Has he thrown over twice? Okay, now he can't throw over again. Or if he throws over, he's got to get me. Pitch clock is at two. I'm running. Yeah. I get a big jump. Okay, I get a big jump. The playing games with the batters. Like you said, Scherzer today. Uh, they're, kind of, they're doing that kind of thing. They're, they're, they're figuring it out. They will figure it out. Now, they're also playing games with the... The no shift. I saw a team today. They brought um, they brought the, it was a, a right handed batter up. Okay, what they did was because you can't have the the they brought the right fielder gotcha. into into short left field. Gotcha. So now the right field is wide open. So they're still okay. doing the shift. Okay. Well, the MLB can just be like, okay, new rule. No, they're not going to do that. Here's though. a circle in the outfield. So you got to stand in it. <laughs> you see that dot? This is where you play. <laughs> that's it. That's like uh, stand on the dot. <laughs> Ready? Because that's what they're doing now. They're, they're oh, still shifting. Replay. You got off the dot too quick. I mean, for, you got off the dot before the pitch. But for crying out loud, look, hit the bin no, now. Getting there. You're up at bat. There is no right fielder. You bloop one over. You hit a, a line drive base into right field. It's a home run, right? Yeah. It's a, gonna, inside the mark home run. Yeah. These guys are still. Pulling it. We're going to go in the backyard. I'm going to toss you softballs. You couldn't bloop one to right if you tried. I'm a lefty, Brad. I'm a lefty. I you couldn't bloop one right. to anywhere you wanted to. <laughs> oh, I, I have died. Baseball's a hard game. Yeah, baseball is a, it's absolutely a hard game. Um, all right, so let's take a quick break. Uh, remember, before we go here, did, check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Locked YouTube, sports.net, all of them. But we're going to take a quick break. We'll come back on the other side. We'll talk about Daniel Jones and his new fortune that's coming with his way. And we're going to also get into, real quickly, the Big East tournament and the other stuff that's going on around college basketball because we're at March Madness, Brett. Yeah. Who killed who in the SEC this week? Yeah, exactly. So we'll be back right after this. Stay tuned. Hey, I'm Jackson Bragman, host of the Bragman Breakdown Podcast. Here at TBB, we break down the latest happenings in sports and pop culture by talking to some of the most fascinating people from these fields including Ohio State star forward Zed Key, Detroit Lions play-by-play announcer Dan Miller, and world number two ranked squash player Paul Cole. 2022 was huge for us, but bigger and better things are ahead for 2023. Listen to the Bragwood Breakdown now, wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, this is Doc Gooden, and you're listening to Locked Up Sports. All right, welcome back, everybody. Hey, did do yourself a favor. Check out that podcast that we just played. Good podcast. I, I've been listening to it. He's pretty good. Um, so Daniel Jones, the Giants, the Giants. Okay, we're still talking about football. I, I, you know what was good this year, Brett, is that the gap between the NCAA tournament and the Super Bowl, which is the dead part of sports. It was shorter this year because the Super Bowl got pushed back. I like that. Right? Doesn't it feel like we just had we just ended? It really wasn't a big gap, and especially with baseball, the spring training hits, and you just feel like that next wave of sports action's coming. And even PGA Tiger gave us a good event to watch you a few weeks ago where, you know, there's just that dead point. You need something to happen. Well, we got we got a good basketball team now. I, the there next, is. There, you know? no, yeah. No. So, but anyway, with the Giants, so the NFL, with the, both teams are trying to, here in New York, trying to figure out their quarterback situation. Now, we know Daniel Jones is going to be the Giants quarterback. The question is, is he going to be making $32 million and change as a franchise, as a tag. franchise tag? Or is he, going to, is he going to be making 40 I think it's absurd well, that he's asking for 40 they're, 45 they're saying, they're saying that the Giants offered him 35 to $38 million. Seems fair to me. More than fair. Um, I mean, come on. Was no, he really that good? It, well, if they just offered... That and he wants. He's talking forty five. He can talk whatever he wants. No, I, mean, I know, but that. That, that's the, that means that they will be coming to a deal in the next. I'd say. I mean, I know we only have till Tuesday to I, make a deal, but um, oh, I think they can franchise tag him and then make a deal at that point. I don't even know. No, what? No, here is what they could do. They can fran- if they franchise tag him and a team can, a team could offer him and more. Then they can match it. But, yeah, but that's if it's that type of franchise tag. They can do yeah, so. They yeah, can exactly. do the exclusive too. But but pretty much, I honestly believe. And I think don't think Daniel Jones is totally delusional. He's, yeah, he's got him by the balls. No, I, I I know. I think that's where he's at. I think the Giants, if they're going to talk thirty eights, the Giants are going to say forty, and the guy's going to say, well, he wants that number. I guarantee you, that's going to be with the four. It's going to be forty for you know whatever it is, a couple of years. Yeah, but nobody make like no quarterbacks make forty right now, right? 
No, no Aaron uh, Aaron Rodgers is scheduled for fifty eight. He's gonna make fifty eight this year. Yeah, that's why the franchise take is so high. Okay, you're right. You're right. But but come that's on, why 40, yeah, you're, you're getting the average of those high guys. Forty million. No, but that's that's no. He's not. I would not want. I I'd want one more year. You get a thirty two million dollar one year deal to go see if like yes last year was a fluke. Exactly. And the fluke, honestly, if you're telling me, la- imagine last year was his. Like it, is, it was no, but really was, and fifteen touchdowns was pushing his best. You guys will be in trouble at forty million for I three think, years. I mean, I, let's be real: are the, are the Giants really that much that close to the to the Eagles? No, they're not. They got blown out by the You, you have to keep him because there's no other option. All those other guys are going to the Jets, the Raiders, and San Francisco. There's nobody else. That's hanging out. Yeah. Or the Dolphins. Yeah, the, 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 the Giants are going to have the last picks if they don't go with Daniel Jones. So Daniel Jones knows that. If I was him, I would take 37 immediately. Immediately for however many years. Because if they franchise tag you and you, and and you have a crap year, you're still going to get your paid one way or the other, I think, by somebody. But if you go and throw and do another 10 13, 14 touchdowns, a couple... Six, seven, eight, nine interceptions, which is probably what it's going to be like. I he, did, he didn't really throw any interceptions. He played. I well know, last but year. that's what I'm saying. What if that was the anomaly? What, what if he, he played a little bit out of his head? Like I'm not saying he's going to be that bad. I think he's a good enough quarterback to sign him. Like you'd want him there, and you can go make the playoffs. I really like Daniel Jones. I don't like him for forty for no, multiple no. years. And I'll take him for thirty-two for one. But here's the and problem: roll the dice if again. If you franchise him, now you got to give Barkley the money, and Barkley is a ticking time bomb because he could go off. He could. He could. How hit, much are you talking? What's it going to cost you? I don't, I don't. I don't know the numbers. But what's it? What's a running back at his age? I mean, uh, that's Barkley's. This is his first. I mean, he's going to get is, money. No, I. I know what is. What's the real? 20? He's not getting Zeke money. They overpaid. Like the, it's a real. Nobody will. He's gonna. He's gonna get it because he's better than Zeke. Okay, he's an all he's an all around type of player. He's he's a receiver. He he's he's marketing himself as a as a Christian McCaffrey type of player. The problem is Daniel Jones sucks unless you have a Barkley having a good year. Let's go out and get him some receivers. Like the, the, get some receivers for him. I know, but that's where you're in a stuck in the spot of you do need both. You can't just move on from Barkley and say, "Oh, my quarterback's so good. My forty million dollar quarterback's no, so, so good. good. I don't need Barkley." If Barkley gets hurt. And you have Daniel Jones alone without a running game. Not that you don't have one because you have other guys. Daniel like, Jones is good. a running game. He led the team in rushing ah, more time when, during more games, right? You can't pay a running back like that. These teams are winning the Super Bowl with, with million-dollar running backs. I just, it, it, a million I, dollars. It, it, I just don't want it to Rutgers. feel like you're not, we're knocking Daniel Jones because it's not even about that. It's that you're about to pay him Aaron Rodgers, Lamar Jackson money. Yeah, like, he's not. Like, the Ravens are arguing about giving Lamar Jackson money that the Giants are about to just hand I want Daniel Lamar Jones. Jack. I want Lamar Jackson on the Giants. Now, I think, I listen, I said all year. What did I say? I said, I don't want Daniel Jones to be good because this is what's going to happen. Now we're, now we're between a rock and a hard place. You got you got Barkley who wants the money, and people are like, oh, Barkley, Barkley. Listen, Barkley could go off the cliff and, and be terrible. At any moment, That's why at I any moment, I wouldn't be so mad about get, just letting Barkley move Let on with a big deal. Like I'm not. I would. I would franchise tag Daniel Jones. See give ya. him your year. Offer Barkley something, me- which he won't take. He won't. Yeah, take. but offer it to him, and somebody will give it to him. And I listen. I like Saquon Barkley, and he's a an excellent player. Is he the gold jacket player that they? Were, no, he's probably not. But is he an excellent player? And I like that. And I have nothing against Saquon Barkley. But they screwed up Saquon Barkley from the beginning. You can't draft him second. Now he's a number two pick. He's got to get number two pick money. Now he, he, he was good on the team. He was good the last and year. And he's going to be good next year. Uh, he's going to yeah, be a second well, year over the injury. He's going to be good more next than like, year. But I, you, you don't even know if you're going to get all 17 games out of him. You don't even know if you're going to get us next year out of him that's going to be that good. And, you know... And do you really know what you're going to get out of Daniel Jones? Listen, we've seen more bad Daniel Jones. No, you Daniel kind Jones. of know exactly what you're going to get out of Daniel Jones. Think- it, no, but you're not getting $40 million with a quarterback. That's all I know. No, like, okay. But, you, but that's besides, but you're going to overpay him. I get it. I get it. But Daniel Jones, we've seen more bad Daniel Jones yeah. than we have good, right? Yes. I remember Daniel Jones fumbling all over the place. You have to score touchdowns. Picks. We talked about this in the playoffs last year. If the Giants aren't putting up 35 points, they're not going to win those later playoff games versus those teams. So why Daniel am I Jones, give this $40 million to not so score touchdowns? We're talking about we need him to score four touchdowns in a game. Yeah, He yeah. might not get 
The Giants 12 could, next year. And listen, everyone's going to remember they beat up on Minnesota. The Giants could not score 30 points this year. They did it once. Okay, they were not like this offensive juggernaut with Jones and Barkley. It wasn't like that. Okay, they were they were a bad I, offensive I think, team. I think the I think the whole point of this isn't about what Daniel Jones is worth. This isn't about um really what he's going to get. It's more about the Giants need to not make a decision that's going to ruin them. It's really about you are if you lock into Daniel Jones at forty million for three years. And you think, and and you get the same guy you got last year, you're not winning the Super Bowl. I don't think they're gonna. I listen. No, you, you're not. I, you, if you if he steps up and he throws 25 touchdowns next year and he keeps the interceptions where they are, and this guy becomes an elite down the field passing threat, and they add wide receivers. Well, that's what I'm saying. You don't have an elite wide receiver no, they, to go down the field. But I don't. I, if they can, no, I know, and you have to pay those guys too. Those guys like a lot of money, and or you have to go, line. or you, you have to go draft, or you got to go trade draft capital to go get there. And the offensive line, let me tell you, the Giants don't have that a good is a lot pick anymore of for, money. That listen, is a lot of money. Listen, the Giants, a lot of cap space. the Giants should be good. Okay, I know it was a surprise last year, but how many years were the Giants bad? Where they picked in the top five, top six of the draft? They should be good. They have a lot of top ten draft picks, right? I just they're I, supposed to be I good. I feel now. like the like I feel like the Giants. No matter what the outcome right now are, they're Daniel Jones is your is running is the captain of your ship well, for well, the hey, next listen, few years. At least without the Jets with the quarterback, right? Who are you gonna you're gonna end up with? You got now Rogers talking retirement. He's he's going on these podcasts with these weird dudes. He he's not giving up fifty eight this year. Oh, he's, no, guy, he's, just, he's coming I, to play this he's year. He's playing. He's playing. Uh, I, the more I see it, the more I see that it's not going to cost as much as you think to get him over to you. No, um, no, no. It never was because you're going to be paying the bulk of that fifty-eight million. Yeah, it, there's, there's. Um, I know, and the compensation is going to be as bad. I, I, I do think that it's going to be. I think it's already in the works with the Jets. Yeah, I do. I think it's. But, I think he knows. You just just uh, no. Intuition? I think this no. Jets I, fan intuition. I think no. I think Rogers this week is gonna. Well, he's separating with the Packers. He yeah, already knows that. We already know that. that's Well, because they got to do something with Love. That Love's yes. got to be. He's got to play because no, he's going to be like, yo, what are we doing? Well, they here? have to figure out his if they're going to sign him to his. Well, because if Rogers contract. comes back, Love is going to be like, yo, what am I doing? Why am I sitting? What, oh, what are we done. doing? He's here? gone. No, no, Rogers. So, this week, no, they're talking this week. He says it's not. It's going to be sooner rather than later. What the hell's taking so long? Like, what are you doing? He goes but on podcast right now. Just right now, the decisions. Saints, the Saints are cars. Our guy, the Saints right now have done the. We ready? We're ready, Derek Carr, and they're putting the Jets under pressure. You watch out for the Saints next year. No, and I'm the, telling you, let me tell you, the Saints. the Saints may sign Carr, and Rodgers may go do wherever he goes to to some yoga retreat and not play in the NFL, and the Jets may be sitting around begging for Jimmy G. Or going out like they yeah, may be in that's trouble. The nightmare. That's the nightmare. And I'm not saying that I would be. I've already talked about it earlier. I'm not against Jimmy G for next year. I'm saying I don't want you going to beg or not even get him. No, you might be going Ryan Tannehill. It's a it's a complete failure if you have Jimmy G or Ryan Tannehill. I know or I, any of those guys. You if well, you don't, I don't have think car, so. I don't yeah, think Jimmy G is a complete failure. I'd rather see. My I don't fight. at all. Now, do you think? I mean, listen, and because you're not talking about you know, it depends on what you're talking about. You're not committing to. Signing a Daniel Jones for forty million for three years at the to, to Jimmy G. If you put Jimmy G on the Giants next year, they'll probably win more games. Yeah, and but the, 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 the Jets. Okay, you're right. You might not pay Jimmy G a lot of money, but by the time Jimmy G's not winning the Super Bowl for the Jets, he's not getting past Buffalo and and Kansas City. Buffalo's and not those be teams. As good. Buffalo's okay. ran out, ran out of their cap space. And, They're in trouble. But that's what's going to happen with the Jets now. So now the Jets. They're they right. They in three years, no, you're right. The Jets need to get because they have a two year window. That's oh, why you uh, want Rodgers. Oh. Of course, you well, listen. We know who we want. You That's win. not up to you. There's a guy who might just walk away. Your, your next choices are Derek Carr or Jimmy G. I think it. No, I and guess. if you ta- if you gave me the choice between Derek Carr, Jimmy G, or Daniel Jones, I would take probably Ryan Tannehill too. Because why didn't the Jets win the Super Bowl those years? Right, Sanchez was the quarterback. If they had a better quarterback, they would probably win yes. the Super Bowl. Yes, but Derek Carr so is a be much team. better quarterback than Mark Sanchez is. Well, Derek Carr, I'm okay with. But now Jimmy Jimmy G is Mark Jimmy Sanchez. Jimmy G is a much better quarterback than Mark uh, Sanchez. I don't know. No, you think so? He is. He's an injury problem. Let me tell you. Last year he was going to take them somewhere close until he got injured, and he proved it in the they end of the week. They went somewhere close anyway, right? I know. I'm not saying. I'm just saying that 
he's he's not a bad quarterback in a good system. That's the least you can ask for. That's better than any quarterback we have now. We have quarterbacks that are all bad in a good system. We, you have a good Daniel, defense. You have a good Daniel Jones else. is good because he can run the ball. Like yeah, yeah. everybody's got their thing. The problem is that has its limitations. Running the ball is going to get you a loss over the course of five playoff games or four playoff games, depending you know whatever it is that you're going to have to play. Let me tell you, you're going you're going to lose one of those games if you're relying fully on your quarterback to have 80 rushing yards and run for two touchdowns. Now here's what bothers me about Rod because Rogers, you know what Rogers just bothers me. I think a little bit because you can't tell me that Rogers doesn't know what he's going to do right now. He knows no, he sad. does. He's milking but that's it. That's what I meant by he's that. He's going is, on He podcasts. does know. And I think that's doing is, the darkness thing. Whatever that is. Break. No, I'm telling you, he does know. He knows he's getting his 58 million. He's not not playing football. No, I'm year, saying he knows where he's going. He's, and that's why I truly believe he's it's like a done deal. That, I say that it's, that's what I mean by I have no idea what's going on. He's throwing out cookies about retirement. No. Nope. He's doing this. Oh, I haven't this. And then he goes, but he comes out. He's trying to, he's trying to cheapen his value. He wants, let me tell you, he just loves everybody fawning over him. He's holding up the whole league. Is what he's doing. He, no, that is well, one. You know why? You know where that started? You know where this started, right? With the, the NFL in the draft. You know what they did to him? They stuck him in a room through round one. Oh yeah, and they yeah, had yeah, the yeah, camera yeah, yeah, like yeah. this. I know, I know. He hates them for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, no, and he dragged. He, they dragged Aaron Rodgers through the ringer as he and they pass him, and he's sitting there crying. In the room, and he hates the NFL. Because a week ago, it was, I'm going into the retreat. I'm going to decide what to do. He came out of the retreat. He's like, well, I didn't go into the, the darkness to see what I was going to do. You know what I've been saying? He came out of the darkness. He didn't see a shadow. He didn't see a shadow. Okay? Yeah. He saw a shadow. He's going back to the degree Bay. So he didn't see a shadow. So now he's going somewhere else. He knows where he's going. He, he knows. knows exactly he where knows. he's going. It's but Raiders he's or Jets. stringing everybody along because he loves the attention. It's Raiders or Jets. And like the thing he did with Schefter and them where he's like, they ain't talking to my inner circle. Like, give me a break. First of all, you don't know who you're in the circles talking. There's leaks all over the place. Your friends might not might be talking. They might be talking to these reporters. And it just, uh, everything about Rodgers bothers me. I just feel like he's, uh, I, I don't know, something about Rodgers. He's a great quarterback. I want, I want him on the team. No, the only I thing the I Jets care about is what it, what your compensation package is to go get him. That's the only thing I give a crap about in the world when it comes to Rodgers. I don't even think that matters because you have rookie running backs. So you got you got, you got got a young team no, that's it a does good matter. team. You go here, I want your next three first rounders. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, but no, no, but no, no it, it does. No, 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 if you, you go, you tell me if I could have Aaron Rodgers for two twos, you know what I mean, or something stupid? No, you are. Then it's like, oh, my God, I want him immediately. I care less. That's He'll even be. retake a package right now well, where his his salary will be deferred more. Well, because Green Bay doesn't want to pay the money, so it's going to be something right. small. It's, you're going to be stuck but with the not, $50, million, 50 yeah, million. But they're not even going to. He'll actually re-sign a deal where you'll pay the money, but not pay it today, and you're actually going to be restructured like Brady you know, did. Like a Bobby Bones. No, no, it's, no, it's not about deferred comp. It's about it not being uh, paid out into the salary cap so you can still build your team. He's going to build a that's He's the gonna, problem with the salary cap. Is no, they, they can work around but that's that what, salary no, but, cap. No, but that's what Rodgers did every year. It looks like he has this. The reason he has a $58 million deal this year is because every year he restructured his contract where, yes, it paid big money, but it paid him in a big and a bonus where he didn't end up getting uh, hitting the salary cap. And and you can still go get linemen. You can still go out and get. You well, know, what, and, and speaking of Lamar Jackson, where you had mentioned what they were doing with the Ravens are doing, they're blackballing. Lamar Jackson, because you know what they're doing? The owners, they colluded. Listen, they colluded with each other, okay? We gave, who who they give the big contract to last Deshaun year? Deshaun Watson. Okay, Deshaun Watson. Okay, he's signed. Guaranteed. Right? He signed. Fully guaranteed. Fully guaranteed. After now that, all the charges in the world. Now that's the, forget about the charges. Now it's the precedent. Now they all want fully guaranteed contracts. Yeah. The owners don't want to give fully guaranteed no. contracts. Because those, that, that $170 million contract that anybody gets in the NFL is really just Worth the, this week's pay. Yeah. Because if you cut him, he's gone. So now they, they're colluded. And that's why there's no reason why uh, Jackson shouldn't be getting get contract. He's, yeah, he's and, one and of the, the top number, quarterbacks. Yeah, it's like 350 or something crazy. Yeah. They want, but like they offered him, I think it was like in like the 140 guaranteed or something. Yeah. And he's range. like, no. He's, like, he's like, I like, no, this. I want, yeah. He wanted, I he think he wants the, like 250 guaranteed fully or whatever it is. So the, there's that going on. And listen, well, Rogers. I'd like to see how, you know. That they're going to hold out on him again, but they're going to pay dearly for it in terms of what they're paying this year for Lamar Jackson. I don't know and how Lamar no, but Jackson. you know what's going to happen? He did it last year. He held out on him in the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. So I'm saying, how do you go tell back you, to that team? No, how do you go back to that city? He's going to go back. They're going to give him forty million or something crazy for for this yeah, year. I, I don't know. After no, what he he's going to get no, from this. No, he's going to get franchise tagged at forty something million. I don't even know how or, you go back to no, that team. And that's he's city. not going to. He's going to go back and he's going to barely play. 
and he's going to go hang and he's going to go have a like a, a year where he goes, I'm injured, I'm in, I'm out. And look, see, you needed me and they don't do it. That's what he proved to them last year. Look, well, without me, you got no chance. No, but they, I don't think any of them knew, thought they could win that playoff game. Look, look I'm without the one with the Lamar power. Jackson. No, he turned and goes, look, I'm the one with the power. You're not. Give me my guaranteed money. Like, the money's like coming. Gave to show no, Watson. the money's coming. I know the money's coming. I don't have to play. I can be injured, not play the rest of this year. You lose instantly. We could have won that game. We would have. We go back. Okay, great. I'm getting my money. Franchise to me, getting my money. Trade me, getting my money. Sign me to my big deal fully guaranteed, getting my money. Sit me out for a year, getting my money. That well, guy's getting paid. Yeah, but you know what, Brent? They, they listen. He it's doesn't a- care. He said, you know what? I don't care. And he's going to go sit out. It may ruin his career where they he's going to get Ra- the money and he may stink. I don't think he's... But did know. they need it? I mean, listen, the Ravens were a fumble at the goal line and 100 yards the other way away from upsetting the Bengals. I, right? They, then they, then you don't. Then let him go. No, I don't I don't think you can let him go. I'm just no, saying I'm I know. was advocate I, there. I know. So I understand that. But I, I think that, that... I think he was trying to prove a point. It's now obviously... They don't care as much. They have they have their limit. They're not doing it. He's trying to negotiate his own contract. He doesn't have an agent. I'm telling you, they, they, this guy's trying to do it. Where yeah, no, his mother's his agent. Which is what are you doing? Like what are you doing? What are you doing there? Like yeah, what are you doing? There is what no are you secret deal doing? coming. There's no anything. They you don't got, even talk. You got the receivers. First of all, the receivers are complete lunatic divas. Okay, you got the quarterbacks. These football players. What what are they doing? Well, speaking of upcoming diva football players. And well, let's no, go. No, no. first, first, oh, you want to start over? I want to go. I want to go, go basketball side. I want to go basketball because right. I want this this week coming up. It's championship week. It's the start of March Madness. There are smaller conferences that are that are punching tickets to the dance this weekend. Okay, next week the big conference, the big boys. They 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 play. We got the Big East tournament. It's one of my favorite weeks of the year. Okay, I will be there probably Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, hopefully Friday. Trying to get in on on Frank's thing, um, Friday. I love the Big East tournament. Now the problem with the Big East is St. St. John's garbage. Okay, garbage. Butler, Georgetown, garbage. Ewing's gone. They're talking at Georgetown. Georgetown's kind of flirting with Patino at Iona. Iona. Uh, Patino wants to take one more run at the big time. He wants to go go one more time. Okay. Georgetown's terrible. They're going to be out. St. John's going to play that first that first day, like the play-in game. They're going to probably, they need to run the table. They were a below-average team this year. There's two interesting teams, I think, in the Big East tournament to keep an eye on next week. And it's Villanova. Villanova needs to win out to get into the tournament, okay? They need to win the tournament. And UConn. Now, Villanova is, uh, they were the Final Four last year. Jay, uh, Jay Wright left. Okay, I think Jay Wright left because he didn't he didn't want to deal with this whole transfer portal because it's it's a it's the Wild West. It's a nightmare for these coaches. You got coaches poaching players off of your team. That's sick. they're poaching them right off of your team. So I don't think Jay Wright wants to deal with it. So now Villanova, they're finally healthy. They can run the table and get in, and they will be dangerous. The problem with the Big East is is now I said Villanova is has a big following here. A lot of alum alumni in New York City. It's one of the biggest alumni in New York City. They're gonna have big crowds there. UConn always draws good there. UConn's another one. UConn's gonna be safely in the tournament, but UConn can win this thing. The power structure of the Big East has moved to the middle of the country. It's like uh, Marquette and Xavier. And that sucks because it's not the Big East. No. You know? It, and I like and I and Providence, okay? My my team if it's not because I love the coach, I love the Providence coach. Here we go. I think Providence can win this thing, but the two teams to watch next week, if, if you're going to be tuning into the Big East, UConn and Villanova. Villanova needs to run the table and win that tournament if they want to get into the, the field of 68. And it's going to be fascinating. It's always a good time at the Garden. If you haven't gone, get to the Big East tournament. It's I a love great, the Big it's East a great time. We go. We go. I usually yeah. go. I go that Thursday. I go the doubleheader, twelve and two. Then we go have drinks and dinner, and then you go back for the night doubleheader at seven and nine. Love it. Don't Love take it. it. Now another interesting thing going on in the basketball in the the tournament. Alabama is the best team in the country. Okay, Alabama is the best team in the country. They have the best player in the country. The problem is the best player in the country is involved in a murder, a capital murder. Okay. Is he did was he arrested? No, he was not. Now here's here's the story, the backstory in case you didn't hear it. 
Brandon Miller. Brandon Miller is the best player in the country. He's going to be a t- he's going to be a lottery pick. He, he he Alabama's the best team. Pound for pound, they're the best team. They Brandon Miller was in his dorm room. One of his buddies called him middle of the night, whatever it was, said, "Hey, get down here. I need you to get down here. Bring my gun." Now, why why he agreed to that and he did. Got the gun, went down to to wherever the guy was. Gave the gun to uh, another player on the Alabama team, a low-level like bench player, uh, Miles was his name. Okay, Miles then gave the gun to a, the the buddy who made the phone call, and a lady ends up dead. Now in Alabama, if if you, if a murder involves a car or a vehicle, it's a capital murder. You're looking at death penalty. You're looking at stuff like that. Miles and the guy who pulled the trigger are already get charged. Okay. We don't know what the deal is with Miller. Now, it doesn't look like he's going to be charged, but you don't know. Did he block the car? Because if you did anything with a car, it's capital murder because they're backwards over there, down there in Alabama. So who knows what's going to happen? Alabama, best team in the country. They might be out in the first round if he doesn't play. Now, he's been playing. He played like the next day, and it was like a big game. They they made missteps all over the place. Since this thing came out, they made all kinds of missteps. They've, They've handled it. You could not have handled it worse than Alabama has handled this whole situation. They got the kid playing. First of all, I don't think he should be playing. You brought a gun to a scene where the uh, the person a person was murdered with it's the your gun. You gun. Brought. Your okay. gun, and you were like, someone called you and was like, "I need that gun." Yeah. Like he shouldn't be playing. Like you know how much? Imagine tonight. All right, you're like like right now. Listen, we're on, like Brett, you're like Brett. I just I gotta grab that gun. Can you give me the gun? And I'm like, here you go, Bob. Here's the gun. I know. Listen, you, listen. You're going to go do called. something. What's his face called? He needs the gun. We got to go down there. I go down there, give the gun to somebody. Do NBA shoot. teams even care about this stuff? Does anybody in, if you're a good enough athlete, does anybody care about anything? Deshaun Watson. Does uh, anybody no, care? No, no, no. Because winning makes you money. And, Ray and Lewis. everybody forgets. And we like a second chance in this country. Now. No, we guy, like star athletes. If you're the end of the draft. We like comeback they, stories. They, they let you go. You never play. But here's the situation. Like, listen, and the, the total, as bad as it got with him playing and the coach and saying the wrong things, it's a disaster down there. They're still the best team in the country. They did. I just told you about this right before we went on. He didn't know about it. Last weekend or two weekends ago, they do the introductions, right? The player introductions at home. Miles, um, I'm sorry, Miller gets introduced he comes out, he has a walk-on player pat him down. He puts his arms up, he gets patted down like he's a police officer, patting down. And they asked the coach about it, and the coach said, oh, I, was, I don't pay attention to the introductions, I was doing X's and O's. Well, you know what? How about saying something to these kids before, and, oh, they're 19, they've been doing it the whole year, the pat-down. But you can't do that, first of all. With the tone of this country, with the police, and with and with African Americans, and everything that's going on, you can't do that, even you know, without this murder. No, well, you know, uh, whatever you're going to do before, I'm not going to... Yeah. No, you can't do it with a murder, Brett. There's a no, murder. After, There's a dead woman. After, after that, let me tell you, they, they shouldn't have been out parading this kid. I don't know what they... Honestly, I don't know what they should be doing with him. I don't know what you should be charged with if you're, if you're a gun who's... You give to somebody and then they go kill somebody with it. I, I listen. No, but it doesn't pass the smell test, right? No, it Something's doesn't. Wrong. It doesn't. Like when it doesn't. He, it, should he you know, be playing? There's a dead woman. Listen, someone. Listen. He you, brought the all gun. All I know is if, if your gun's used in a murder and you're someone, you're like, here, take my gun. In yeah, New not York, even, maybe you're it wasn't his gun, but he brought the gun that killed somebody, an well, innocent person. It's your gun. If you bring the gun, it's your gun. All right, fair. That's fair. That's fair point. If you, if I, if I, I don't care whose gun it is. I don't care. Listen, my grandma bought the gun. All right. <laughs> That's great. I picked up the gun. I walked the gun over. I gave you the gun. That's my gun. I gave to you, and you killed somebody with it. It's the good old boys, like you said. It's the good old boys, it and it's the same thing down in Georgia. Now but that's, uh, that's that's interesting. We'll get into that next week with debate with the, the NCAA tournament because that's going to be fascinating with the NCAA tournament and a yeah. fascinating. Especially story. with it being the guy who's going to be a lottery pick in the draft. That's the people they will yeah. listen. Let me tell you, Alabama. They, Alabama's the going on. Team, right? You got big money coming in with the March Madness, with the tournament coming up, with the NCAA tournament. Alabama's got their star player. They've committed so much money to him. They're the best sure team in the country. I'm sure he's got big nil deals going on. They're the best team they're in the big. country with him on the team. Yep. They're not even a tournament team with him off the team. That's that's what we're looking at here. Now, the combine. Yeah. There's another college story here with another game. Give, give us that, Brett. All right. So then you have the uh, Georgia football player. Uh, 
Jalen Carter. This guy now so drag racing after the so parade. listen so after Georgia wins the national championship they have their uh, celebra- celebratory parade. Um, a uh, football player on the team was in a car wreck along with a staffer, and they were both killed. Now, Drunk. He was double the legal limit. Now, now they didn't at the when this first happened. It looked like it was a single car crash. Mm-hmm. It was this guy just out, and speed was a factor, and they believe that happened. Now, as the weeks go on, they find out that um, Carter, who's uh, Jalen, Car- that Jalen Carter, who, by the way, is going to be a top five pick in the NFL draft. Yes, top, an- an- another one who is because of his status and how good of a player he is. He ends up, and he is being charged. Um, I believe he was charged two misdemeanors, two misdemeanors uh, drag racing, and I don't even think it was alcohol. As yeah, was one he of was them. listen. He was probably but, drunk, right? No, Do we, can we agree that he was probably no, drunk? no. He was at like point one nine, which is way. No, like no, your, that's the guy who was killed. Uh, we don't know what he. Oh, he was probably drunk, right? They were at the yeah, same party. Are. So now this is his they, buddy. I know they now. Go here. Here's what I, here's what he should do because he put out a statement. He left the combine to go turn himself in. Okay, right. he's not facing felonies. It's not a major. He's not looking at jail time. It's two misdemeanors. He put out a statement. The truth's gonna come out. I'm gonna be exonerated from this. No, no. Go. Yeah. Claim. He, go. Go. Fess up. It's two misdemeanors. You will not. You will not lose draft status. Go fess up. Do the right thing. First of all, it was probably his buddy. It definitely was his buddy got killed. He's been I, living with this thing now for months. Go fess up and take with your punishment. It's going to be like probation. It's misdemeanors. You, he's probably got lawyers talking to him. He's probably got you know his agent talking to him. He's got teams telling him what he's supposed to be saying. I don't know. And what, you, then you can put it in the rearview mirror. Instead, now it's well, I don't know. Well, we, if you go say sure, I'll go take this. They may throw some jail time at you. They may throw no, who knows it's a some probation. Can, I know. He can only get a year. I, 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 know, I understand. And he's not going to get jail time. No, he's going to have a top of the line lawyer. He's not going to get jail time. He's going to get probation. But it wouldn't no, be better, right. and wouldn't it look good if he was like, "Hey, listen, we were drag racing with kids. We're idiots. We, we were idiots. I lost my friend. The poor girl died." Because what happened is He's the girls, it. is he at the combine now though? No, he, he left. He went to turn himself in. He went. No, to but he went. He turned himself in. He got out. I think he was at the combine. I think he's back. No, yeah, no, he I'm pretty sure. He no, I'm pretty back. sure. No, he went. He was in now. He was in jail for 22 minutes. No, yeah, he wasn't no, even there. He, well, he, well, he got walked in, no. in his lawyer to the police. Yeah, he got, yeah, he yeah, got, he got was, booked. No, he got yeah, fingerprinted yeah, out. Bail, bail, and he's out. No, yeah, but he's back at the combine. But he's sitting and doing interviews. No, he's sitting and explaining this to coaches today. Like, what? This is what... And he's lying. I, I don't even know. Are he's you, lying. Are you even allowed to? You, oh, nope, can't talk about my pending yeah, investigation. you can talk about it. Can't talk want. about it. Listen, he get, he did it. We all know he did it, right? He was, First of all, and he's lucky. Because he's lucky. Because if they would have got him that night, he was definitely drunk. And they definitely could have added to the charges. There's no way this guy was double the legal limit at the same party, drag racing 100 miles an hour, and you're dead sober. No, there's no way. So now you're living with the death of your buddy. It's partly your fault. It's all over the news. And Go you're gonna- there and fess up and just put it behind you. It's two misdemeanors. It's not a bunch of felonies. He's not looking at 20 years. The capital murder, the other guy in Alabama, he could be in trouble. That's a big deal. That's a, I mean, this is a big deal, too. But the charges are different. Oh, it is. Is you know, it's one thing if he was. It's one thing. Listen, it's not like they he uh, his car crashed into the other guy's car and caused the accident. Um, you know, the two guys were. You know, I thought it was worse when you first told me about it in the text message. I thought it was like. No, they would get I did from too. Vehicular no, I did or something. too. I did too. I thought that it was right that it was like they were trying to cover up whatever for however long and, uh, but we'll see. We'll see. How, you know, listen this, to these guys. These guys are going to be charged with whatever they're going to be charged with. That is not going to affect their draft status at all. They are going to take them as the best available player, regardless of those problems. Now, listen. If it comes out the that NBA Miller, if care. it comes out that Miller did something, he blocked the car because they they went and shot this lady. They shot this lady. So if he blocked the car, so now he's forget it. His draft status is ruined because he's going to prison. NBA. No, well, he's not. Yeah, but he's not going to prison. They say he's not. But he's, he's playing. playing. The truth's going to come he's out, right? He's playing right now. He's playing right now. We, we both agreed, though. If they, they were in an playing. investigation where they really thought it was something, they'd be, they'd be yanking up. That guy, does, they don't even care. NBA, they don't care about any of that. No, stuff. no. But the, this, the NFL isn't either. This guy's going, this oh, guy's going yeah. top five pick. He's a, he's a, he's a ta- I think he's a, he's a tackle. No, there's teams going, oh, he might drop. 
Oh, he might yeah, drop yeah, on yeah, us. Yeah, that's, yes, that's exactly right. <laughs> this could work out for us. The Giants be like, we can give Jones the money. We got now. it now. Jones, <laughs> meet this guy, your new chauffeur. <laughs> oh, you're terrible. So while we were sitting here, you know, talking about all this stuff, the Knicks blew this 20-point lead they had. Yeah, 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 yeah Julius Randle, when you were talking about it, he, he decided that he was going to be the uh, star again, and since then they dropped a 20-point lead. Spolster's still the, 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 the Heat's coach. Spolster's been the coach there for, like, what, 15 years, right? He yeah. was there with the big three. Oh, he's, he's like an icon down there. That's who they're hanging on to. They love him down there. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess. He, st- he, looks, he still looks young. He, he is young. He doesn't look like he aged a day. But like anyway, us, young man. so that's pretty much it, Brett. Hey, listen, how about that? How about that Steve uh, Steve Phillips interview last week? That, that was, that was yeah, no, fantastic. Steve Phillips, no, he was good. Uh, no, that was great. Nothing stuff. but nothing but rave reviews about it. Honestly, I'm super excited for baseball to be back. I'm um, excited for March Madness. We get everything going. We got the Knicks playing well. The Rangers playing well. We're going to see if Kane can step up and bring a championship to New York. Let's go. Bring the cup home, baby. Talk. So let me tell you, they're saying this year, a championship's coming to New York. Like, the odds are pretty high. It's been a long time. If you look and you go Mets, Yankees, Rangers, Jets, Giants, Knicks, there's a good chance. The odds are already high because we have double the amount of teams. I'm talking ne- this year or next year. Okay. No. That's fair. Yeah, but of all those teams, like it was like the Yankees had a shot to win a World <laughs> Series. That was that. Yeah, I guess you And they were like, maybe right. Andre Agassi will win the U.S. Open. Did you hear <laughs> That's about as close to hear, a win as we can get in New York. Did you hear that anywhere? Or did you just come up with that, that? What? Like, the odds are good or something. Is there, is there like, is somebody taking book on that? Yeah, there is a book on There's a book on, like, Mets or Yankees to win the World well, Series. That, but, like, no, but, like. Like, uh, New York gets New York champion. Champion. There was, okay, even funnier, there was, um. Uh, a big heat on like first take or whatever with uh, Stephen A. Smith. They were talking about exactly that. Um, you know, are they gonna have that happen? And I can't with Stephen A. Smith. I can't. But anyway, so that that's gonna pretty much do it. We're out of time. We're gonna watch the end of this Knicks game. Uh, hopefully, they don't blow it. I mean, come on. I got him plus one. That's <laughs> So, um, Sunday, don't forget, we got a weekend wrap-up. I'm going to give you a full rundown of the Big East tournament. So, if you're, if you're looking for that, Sunday, that'll be out. Uh, great job, Steve Phillips, last time. Hey, listen, tune in. Check out our Facebook, YouTube, subscribe, Twitter, TikTok. Stick around right after the show, right after I say see ya. We got, they tell you everything you need to know. So, for Brett Grasso, I'm Bob Walters. Well, I'll talk to you Sunday, everybody. See ya.